Uh, Mets chairman confirms Saar to Spurs. Um, let me just get the quotes up, actually. There is, yeah, I've got it here. Oh, you got it? Go on. He says, so Mets president Bern Sering claims a deal worth more than £12 million um, pounds has been agreed with Saar set to spend the season back on loan at the Liga club. He said, nothing is signed, but I have a verbal agreement with the president of Tottenham. Um, it's much more than 15 million euros, both on, on the fixed amount and the bonuses. Papa, um, Papa Mata must also be satisfied with the contract offered with him. This is not yet the case. There'll be more discussed at the start of the week. If the transfer is to Tottenham, he'll be loaned back to Mets for, for the season. Mm. So that is the Mets chairman talking about um, uh, Papa Sar. So that looks like one that's um, on the brink of being completed. Looks like he's going to spend another loan, uh, another season on loan at Mets. And um, he played uh, on the weekend, apparently had a fantastic game. Apparently he has a fantastic game every game. <laughs> 18 years of age. Mm. So this guy clearly is one who's uh, going to be a, um, a star of the future um, in a position where central midfield is a real battler and he could be our version of like an Indeed or a Kante or something like that. That's where he seemed that kind of role, kind of absolute destroyer in the centre of the park. But also a player who apparently is not bad on the ball either. He's decent dribbling ability and he's got, he can, um, he's got a shot on him as yeah, well. Yeah, a decent shot on him. So I'm, 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 I'm quite excited about his potential rival, but obviously we're going to have to wait a year now uh, for him to come. But yeah. yeah, what they were saying is that the reason we stole a march on other teams is our bit no one else was the kind of like willing to give him a loan back and we were the only team willing to loan him back and apparently there were teams um, in for him like Man City, Chelsea, you know, like top teams. It wasn't just like uh, Spurs and kind of teams below us, it was actually teams, Spurs were like the lowest team in for him kind of thing. Um, so I, I'm very excited about Papasar, um, but it's hard to get too excited with him not coming in this season, isn't it? Yeah, um, obviously he's going to be a great replacement for Tosoko. Does it mean Tosoko is going to hang around for another year? I, uh, I mean, he doesn't look anywhere near leaving at the moment. But he definitely would supplement our midfield options really great. I think in a 4-2-3 or a 4-2-3-1, he, um, he would excel. And he, I think he's um, 18 years of age, uh, will be 19 when he comes into the team. He's at an age where he's going to be, he could beat us for many, many years, signing a big, long six-year deal as well. Um, sounds like it's not too bad of a uh, monetarily. I don't think it sounds too expensive. So um, everyone's raving about him over in Liga. Everyone's yeah. saying this guy is the next big thing. So it looks like Tottenham might have um, gotten a gotten a gem here, but we have to wait and see. Yeah, we will have to wait and see. I mean, we have heard it all before and seen these young players come from around Europe before. They haven't really worked out. So uh, you know, you got air a bit of caution. But you know we've got you've got another central midfielder in Eduardo Camavinga um, playing at Rennes, who's also mm -hmm. been lighting up uh, Liga uh, in France, um, and he's got also got one year left in his contract, and he's going for thirty five million euros this summer. Uh, would that be better business for us? Probably. Mm. Camavinga's great, but yeah. where's he going? He's going to. Well, there's no real rumours of where he's going and the the Wren chairman I think came out today or yesterday and said he's available to go for 35 million. Mm. Um, well look, Camavinga, you know, he's been in the France squad, he's even scored for France. Um, he's a bit more of a ball player than um, I believe um, than Saar. I think Saar's a bit more of a destroyer. Uh, Camavinga can do that defensive role but he's much more about his passing range and stuff like that. He's much Don't more of a controller. Don't we need that more with Skip and Hoybier in the squad? Yeah, but if one of them gets injured. Yeah, yeah well, to be honest, we need both. It's a, it's a bit because you, when you Skip and Hoybier have that um, solidity, if one of them gets injured, we're also a bit screwed. But also, you know, in centre midfield, we have Lo Celso and Delhi. But like, we don't really have a player like a Ruben Neves or something who can control a game, dictate it with his passing, switch plays very quickly, and stuff like that. For all of um, Delhi and Lo Celso's good attributes on the ball. You know, none of them are amazing passers, like like long range passes. I'm yeah. talking about. That's you what know, I'm saying. we don't have that <clears throat> sort of ability in our No, we don't. And Camavinga could potentially do that. So I'd love Camavinga, but whether we're, I don't know, whether it's attainable, he's attainable for us. I don't know.